is up guys it is me max back again with another guitar tutorial today we're taking a look at barnes courtney 99 awesome guy awesome song i really really like his music and i'm probably going to do a lot more lessons for his songs because it's just right down my alley like music wise i've got him in a lot of spotify playlists and this song will be no exception to that and it's actually not too hard to play on guitar either we've got like three basic standard chords in here like one's not too standard but pretty standard and what we have to watch out for here is the song is half a step down so be sure to tune your guitar accordingly and like in order to do that if you haven't got a proper tuner i just recommend going into the app store i for example got the fender tuner i won't be putting a link into the description because i'm not like associated with them but it's something i can really recommend and once you've done that we can get started so first of all, let's take a look at these chords here. I'm gonna refer to them the way they would be called if we were in standard tuning in order to make it a bit easier for us because we've got the exact same positions, but it makes it a lot more difficult for those of you who don't tune down half a step um, to follow the instructions, I guess. So that's why I'm doing that. And the great thing about these chords is we play the exact same chords in the exact same order throughout the entire song. The only form of variation we have here is with the rhythm and strumming. So our first chord is a regular E. We've got our first finger on the first fret on the third string. We've got our second finger on the second fret on the fifth string and our third finger on the second fret on the fourth string. We don't have to mute any strings here. We just go down once. Then we jump onto our second chord, which is a G sharp. It's actually a bar chord. So we put our first finger across all six strings on the fourth fret. Then we put our third finger onto the sixth fret on the fifth string and our pinky onto the sixth fret on the fourth string. That's the G sharp. We've got the E the G sharp and our last chord is an A, a regular A major. So we put our first finger onto the second fret on the fourth string, second finger onto the second fret on the third string and third finger onto the second fret on the second string. This time around we need our thumb. We wrap it around here and touch the sixth string like that in order to mute it. That is our A. We've got the E, the G sharp, and the A. Those are our three chords we use throughout the entire song. So let's take a look at what we actually play in the song. And during the verse and intro, we go. Like that. So we palm mute the strings. We use the palm of our right hand, put it down here on the strings. And now we only go down. We go down eight times on the E, four times on the G sharp, and four times on the A. That is the entire thing. Like that during the second half of the verse we pretty much play the exact same thing as in the chorus so we can just take a look at that and pretty much like sum it up as one thing here and what he does in the second half of the verse is actually a bit faster strumming wise than the chorus but i pretty much play the exact same thing because it doesn't really make too much of a difference so what we do here rhythm wise is we go On the E we go down, 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 up, up, down, down. 
down, 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 up, up, down, down. And now we add one more down, up. So we go down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Now we jump onto our G sharp and we go down, 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 up. And onto our A and do the exact same thing. So down, 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 up. Just like that. And that is the entire thing. We do that three times and the fourth time we start the riff, we just stay on the E and do the same thing twice. So we just go. That's the entire second verse and chorus. And as I already told you guys, if you wanna be really exact with what you're playing in the second half of the verse, you gotta speed things up a bit, especially with the G sharp and the A. Just add a couple more ups and downs in there and you'll be totally fine. And if you wanna be And if you want to be super exact with what you're playing here, when we end the riff, like after we've repeated it three times, we go. So instead of just staying on the E and going, we add an A in there. We go. Up until this point, then we jump over and go back to what we were doing before. And that is the entire song. Tiny elements like this one are actually why I love them so much because they just keep it interesting. They spice things up. And let's head into the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you might think. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there and that notification bell in order not to miss out on any of the upcoming videos. And my Instagram link is down there as well. Be sure to check that out if you wanna see what's going on in my life besides making these videos. And I'm not really too consistent over there, but I'm doing my best. I'm going to post some pictures again. I hope I will try. And that's it from my side. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.